Spinal stenosis is a gradual narrowing of the spinal canal that leads to impingement of the spinal nerve roots. Lumbar spinal stenosis can cause low back and leg pain and can severely impair quality of life. Decompressive laminectomy relieves pressure on the spinal nerve roots and may provide symptomatic relief in patients with lumbar spinal stenosis. In some patients with lumbar spinal stenosis, spondylolisthesis, a condition in which one vertebra has shifted forward in relation to the vertebra below, may also be present and may create vertebral instability. And laminectomy itself can also create vertebral instability. In the United States, given these concerns, spinal fusion is often performed at the same time as decompressive laminectomy to help stabilize the spine in patients with lumbar spinal stenosis. But it's unclear whether spinal fusion performed at the time of decompression surgery improves clinical outcomes in patients with lumbar spinal stenosis with or without degenerative spondylolisthesis. In the Swedish spinal stenosis study, the investigators randomized 247 patients from seven Swedish hospitals to decompression with fusion or to decompression alone. There were no significant differences in the primary outcome of patient-reported disability and quality of life two years after surgery between those who received decompression with fusion and those who received decompression alone. When patients with and without degenerative spondylolisthesis were analyzed separately, there were also no significant differences in the primary outcome between the two groups. Operating time was shorter and the amount of perioperative bleeding was less in those who received decompression surgery alone. Surgical complications and rates of reoperation did not differ significantly between the two groups. Five-year follow-up data were available for slightly more than half the patients, and again there were no significant differences in the primary outcome between groups at five years. Thus, lumbar fusion with decompression surgery as compared with decompression surgery alone did not improve clinical outcomes at two years and five years for patients with lumbar spinal stenosis with or without degenerative spondylolisthesis. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.